know, everybody thinks about the trade period is starting in December 20th. Well, the discussions have been happening for months. The discussions happened at the draft. The discussions happened at Christmas last year. It's really an ongoing process. And if an offer comes along that is very difficult for us to refuse, we'll have to look at it and see how does it do to improve our team in, in uh, the short term and the long term. record of six and seven uh, to start off the year after 13 games. Overall, you know, we're pleased in how we played. We went through a stretch there that we, we didn't have a lot of success and we didn't play as well as we thought we could have played. But then we went on a stretch that we won a few games in a row. Uh, but in balance, if you would ask me after 13 games, if we were close to 500, uh, I would have taken that to start off the year and then look to build on that as the, the players get more and more experience moving forward. Obviously with, uh, with COVID this year, it's a lot more scouting on video. When the trade period comes up, uh, you know, Richie always gets names thrown at him, you know, this guy might be available. So you might know him, you might not. Even if you do, you want to go back and make sure what you do know is, is correct if, uh, if your memory serves you well. So you want to go on there and watch as, as much video as you can and go back. The trade period can be very difficult. The players are people and they have a life, they have families, they're, they're comfortable in their situations, they're comfortable in their billets in school. So we've got to be cognizant of that and do it in a respectful way if we are going to trade somebody uh, to make sure we put them in the right position to be successful. Because you know, it's a process that goes all season long, but uh, I'm working with Richie as well on the trade because uh, I, I'm fortunate enough to know the players since they, they start playing in the league, since uh, they were eligible in the draft for the majority of the player in the league. You know, before we make a trade, before we make a player acquisition, we will look at uh, detailed analytics on the player and how that player relates to other players and what the strengths and weaknesses are of that player so that we go into any trade scenario very comfortable with, with what the numbers. So that's part of the analysis that we do. Hey Alex, I just got an offer on our player. Um, it's a very interesting offer. I think it's something we need to consider. Not far off what we, we already discussed with that team, right? Right. As you know, I like to draft big. Because I have another team, right? That's uh, that's right in it. So we have to we have to make sure we compare both and, and see what what we value the most, right? Yes, exactly. Ideal scenario with let's say we draft that year. We we'll get the Super Bowl sixteen, the year we're trying for. We can still keep that sixteen or trade it for really good players. Right. So I think you're right. In both scenarios, we have that 16. What happens if we're not that much ready to go all in, right? Yeah. Well, that, that thing turns to be, let's say, 17 years old now. Okay, right. sounds good. I'm going to keep working on it, trying to improve them a little bit here. But we're, yep. getting, we're getting fairly close on where we feel comfortable with yeah. pulling the trigger on this thing, right? Richie's just a guy with uh, with so much experience. You know, he's he's worked at the NHL level. He's got a bunch of experience at the Q level. Like the guy, uh, you know, he he's seen a, seen it all, and um, he's got a lot of knowledge for the game. Yeah. So with COVID this year and effect on the trade period, you know, some teams are, are having more discussions. Some teams less. There's a little bit of uh, unknown into the future, if you will, around the second half of the season and the playoffs. So. We know last year we didn't have a President's Cup, but there's nothing we can do about that. We can only look forward now and try and improve our team uh, moving forward, and, and that's what we're going to do. And we'll have those discussions w with the individual teams that uh, come our way, and we'll see where things end up and how we can improve.